What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? This is Min from Architecture Inspirations. Today, I'm going to show you my lighting setup for a daytime interior rendering using V-Ray 3.4 for SketchUp. Let's get started. First of all, if you want to download this model and follow along, then go to this link here to download it. I will only sell 100 of these, so get it while you can. Also, make sure to stay until the end because I will announce the 3 lucky winners who will get this model for free. Now let's jump into the tutorial. Number 1. Locate your main light source. The first thing you need to do is figure out what is your main light source and where it will be coming from. For most daytime renderings such as this one, the main light source is usually the sun. And in this case, I want the sun to go through the two windows on the left side, so I can do that by adjusting the shadow setting here until I get what I want. Now let's start the render, but before you do that, here's a bonus tip. Go in the render elements and add a raw total light element. This render element will make it easier to see how lighting affects your scene. Now start the render and there we go, that's our render for the default settings. Let's go to step 2. Number 2. Adjust camera settings. I've explained camera settings in my last video, you should definitely check it out if you haven't yet. For this scene, I will leave the aperture and ISO number the same and I will only decrease the shutter speed to 100 to brighten up the image. As you can see, the image has brightened up quite a bit, but you can see that some parts of the image, like this area of the pillow here, is a little blown out. You can use this button here to force color clamping to see areas that are too bright. To fix this, I'm going to turn down the sun's intensity multiplier to 0.5. This improved those areas, but also made the image a little darker. So let's move on to number 3. Number 3. Enhance the sunlight. For step 3, I will enhance the sunlight by adding a rectangle or plain light outside the windows. Make sure that the light faces the right direction. If not, then just rotate it like so and place it just outside the windows. Now I'm going to set the intensity at 25 and start the interactive render. You can see that the image has brightened up overall, however, you can't see the sky on the outside anymore. This is due to the light that we just added. So in options, click this checkbox to make it invisible. There you go, it's starting to look better now. Number 4. Brighten up dark shadows. To improve the lighting even further, let's brighten up some dark shadows by adding some more lights in the model. The first one I'm going to add is a secondary light source coming from the opposite side of the sun, which is over here on the right side. This light will not be as bright as our main light source, so I will set the intensity to 10. And the other one is behind this camera, facing this bed, with a very low intensity of 3. Note that you can change the shape of the light here as well. As you can see, these lights didn't affect much of the image except brighten up some shadows in the rendering, so this step is optional if your scene is already well lit. I think the scenes looks pretty good. However, let's take a closer look at our rendering. There is a yellow or orange tint from the sun that I don't really like. Also, these shadows are a little too sharp for me, so I think I'm going to make some final adjustment in the sun setting to make it even better. Number 5. Adjust Sun Settings Let's go to the sun settings, and the first thing we're going to do is change the size multiplier to 2. This will increase the size of the sun, and as a result, the shadows will look softer. The second thing is change the color mode from filter to override. This will set the color of the V-Ray sun to this color we have here, which is white. That way, we can get rid of this orange tint in our rendering. There we go! That was my workflow for lighting an interior scene. Now let's get to the giveaway. Congratulations to these 3 viewers who were randomly picked from the comment section. Please message me on my Facebook page for further instructions on how to get this model for free. As for the others who are interested in this model, follow this link here. Like I mentioned before, I will only be selling 100 of these and after that, they're gone. Forever. So grab it while you can. And that is all for today guys. I want to thank all of you for supporting me, especially those who purchased my last model. It really means a lot to me and helps me keep this channel running. That is all for today guys. Leave a like if you find this helpful and comment below what you want to see next. Stay inspired guys and I'll see you next time.